What's going on guys, Fox and in today's video tutorial we're going to be updating ETA hen to 2.1.b and items flow 1.10 and the newest version of the UMTX2 uh, that's much faster and much more reliable. First things first, you want to make sure you're connected to the internet. So I'll show you how to do that. Head over to settings up here. Go ahead and click on network and make sure you're connected to the internet. If you're not sure if you're connected to the internet or not, we can do a test internet connection. So go ahead and press X. As you can see, we're all loaded up. So go ahead and go back to the home menu. Okay, now that we're connected to the internet and we know the internet is working, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the uh, R1 button on your controller and see this shortcut that we installed in the last video guide, you wanna go ahead and you want to run this. So if, if you haven't run this in like let's say a week or two or whatever you're on the older version of UMTX2. So we're going to go ahead and run that. Run that. See it says cache is up to date. Okay if you haven't ran this in a while it will say downloading new cache. I want to take a screenshot of this and, and actually highlight it so I can show you. Okay after you've done that it's going to take a few minutes to load. Let it do its thing and that's it you're all done okay after that's all updated and everything what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to uh, update items flow so after that's all loaded and your new cache is uh, downloaded just go ahead and click on jailbreak you okay as you can see it ran the jailbreak and it ran fine okay so now we're updated sometimes it does this don't worry about that I don't know why it does that sometimes it goes back and forth so just ignore that. So you want to go ahead and press the newest version. That's uh, version 2.1b. If this pops up, go ahead and press OK. OK, I believe that we're connected now. Sometimes you have to press that other dialog box. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to test it to see if we are connected. I'm sorry, the jailbreak did work. Okay, the jailbreak did not work. So just go ahead and keep retrying it. So basically, if you see this, like it's either 50 50, the system's been jailbroken or it's not. I'm sometimes it's kind of loopy now, but I've noticed it does this. I think the way to get around this is to delete this and actually reinstall it or try cleaning out the cache. It's really late, and I just want to get this video guide done. So if you're having problems where it's actually not working, just go ahead and uninstall this and just you know reinstall it from one of my older videos I have the packs I always keep the packs in there so the system is jailbroken so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uninstall items flow and we're gonna install it with the newest version so after I go you go through that whole tobacco over there as you can see there's no more uh, circle with a line through it items flow opens up okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the latest version of items flow so what you're good don't worry about the messages I never disable them okay so what you want to do is you want to press the three little buttons on the right hand side of your controller then you what you want to do is you want to press delete then press OK okay now I'll meet you on the computer go ahead and download my pack and that will be the latest version of items flow okay so just go ahead click on it once press extract here now put a flash drive into the computer that's formatted in XFAT and just copy and paste it on the root of the flash drive. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, make sure your flash drive is plugged in the computer. You want to open it up and you just want to just drag and drop it. Okay, now that's done. I'll meet you back on the PS5. Before we go ahead and install this, it's very, very important that you actually delete this application that you just don't copy and paste and override lol it has to be 100% uninstalled otherwise you will run into problems and stuff will not work okay so now I'm going to show you how to install the package just in case you forget sorry you want to head over to uh, settings just press up on the d-pad and press X on settings then you want to go all the way to the bottom you want to press debug settings then you want to go to package installer and as you can see 
it popped up. Now, if it didn't pop up for you 99% of the time, you put this inside of a folder. This has to be 100% on the root of the flash drive. If this file, if this .pkg is not on the root of the flash drive, it will not find it. That's just how it works. Just like the PS4 it has to always be on the root of the uh, flash drive, hard drive, whatever. No folders, no nothing. They're all set, ready to go. So go ahead and press X, and it's going to install it. Okay, now we're just going to press the PlayStation Home button on the controller. We'll just back out of it a hundred times. Okay, and we're going to press the three little buttons on the controller, right hand side. And we can press information and it should tell us the latest information. And as you can see, we're on the latest build of items flow 1.10. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it up for the first time. I haven't opened it up before with the newest version. I'll be back when this is done. If this happens, don't freak out, re-jailbreak the system. So what I've noticed with the new UMTX2, sometimes this happens. So you just need to re-jailbreak it and I'll show you how to do that just in case it's not working for you. You want to just go head over to media and you want to just go through this procedure again. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. So just go through this and I'll meet you back on item slow. Okay, now that it loaded back up, we're on the latest version of ETA Hen. I'm sorry about that. It crashed a couple of times, the system, you know, usual stuff. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and test the game and see if it launches. This is the newest version of ETA Hen. By the way, this game is on the internal hard drive. So, the first time you load up ETA Hen with the newest version, it takes a couple of minutes. As you can see, the game is loaded. I'm not gonna bother wasting my time anymore. Um, so yeah, if you haven't disconnected from the internet, um, what you wanna do is make sure you head over to settings. Since you updated everything, then you wanna go to network. And you wanna go to settings at the bottom and make sure you turn that off. Sorry about that. Um, I had to cut the video and put it on pause because the system crashed. So that's it. You're all updated and everything. Um, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, stabilization as far as the UMTX2, it is a lot faster. It is crashing a lot less. Uh, it used to be like maybe two to three minutes on the UMTX2 on like the first version. It would take about two or three minutes for it to load the jailbreak. Now it's like it's pretty much it's not instantaneous. I want to say at least like 15 seconds and under. That's how long it takes to jailbreak the system and it runs really well. Um, as soon as everything's uh, implemented for OFW7, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. I'm not going to be messing around with the Blu-ray exploit because a lot of people don't have the burners to do it and a lot of people don't know how to use Linux and they're going to get confused on how to patch the ISOs and get the IP addresses all configured correctly. It's just going to be kind of a pointless video guide to go over and explain it. So we're just waiting for that to get ported I believe. I don't know if it's been ported or not because like when you connect to the internet through the exploit I'll show you. Um, over here hopefully it won't crash your system as you can see it says one dot to five it doesn't say one dot to seven or you know if it, if it said one dot x dash seven dot x it would be implemented as far as i know now it's not implemented through here maybe the next week or two we'll get it and as soon as we get that i'm going to show you how to update via offline i have two ps5s i have one on 4.51 i believe and this one's on 5.50. That's the firmware that's on this PS5. Okay, guys. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe to Fox, and I'll catch you later. Hope this video guide helps you out. Um, if you're having problems with the offline host, what you can do is you can actually delete this. But you, what you want to do is before you delete that, if it's like keeps like doing what it was doing to me, where it's buggy, it's like flashing in and out, where it's you go to jailbreak the system, then you go to uh, hit on. Um, 2.1 of the exploit and it keeps jumping back and forth back and forth you need to clean the cache out of the system and if that doesn't work delete the application from here 
long press it, delete the application, clean out the cache and everything, and you can go through there. And that should get rid of the bug. I'm not gonna guarantee it's gonna get rid of it, but I don't mind, you know, whatever. I'm not impatient. A lot of people are impatient. They want, oh, it's gotta be quick and smooth and fast, whatever, you know. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. Have an awesome day and hope this video guide helped you out.